Well, this is what we call our scarfer. We've, um, everything we do, we try and muck around and we invent and we sort of uh, make life easy and we try and do, do things that are interesting. So we tinker with this little idea, say this is three years worth of um, improving it. And what this will do is put the scarf on the pole at the angle that will become the pitch of the roof. And then the chainsaw will come through and that will rip. It'll leave 100 millimeters of timber on the pole and then our, our, our off cuts will just fall away and that pole will be ready to go out to the job. And um, it's all to do with assembling on the job, not, not cutting as we used to cut these things up ladders um, with a chainsaw, all wobbly and everything. Now that we, we build in the method that we, we build in, we can do as much pre-cutting in our yard as we can. Um, leaves all the mess behind and it saves time on the job. So. I'll scarf this out for a 300 by 50 rafter and it'll, it'll be a middle bay so there'll be a scarf here and here um, and I've set the angle, if it's a shallow roof of course you know you'd have a 3 degree pitch like that, we're set at about 7 degrees there so that will do for this. That'll hold the log tight, the little chain there, counterweight. Okay, now when we... Both these saws are designed to cut and leave a hundred millimetres still on the pole. As you see, both of these skill saws work simultaneously. There's a slight delay um, because it's too much power for them both to start at once. but. We needed a counterweight anyway, and then we had the idea, well, the other skill saw could be the counterweight and, and cut going down at the same time. And that's worked out well. Okay, now the chainsaw will do the ripping cut after we've done this cut. It comes through to there, 300 millimetres down. Brake goes on. Perfect cut, dead square, plumb, 100 millimetres apart, and both of those set cuts would be spot on. Um, we'll trim this back for the 100 millimetre rafter. There, it fits nice and it's, it's dead true there. I'll just trim this off with my small saw, and that's it. That's it, ready to go. Rafter gets bolted through there and uh, very nice machine. Thank you.